of its own right is obviously great to win the scholarship, but I think the real impact is the cascade effect that happens thereafter. Because not alone do you have the immersive experience of the MBA, the full-time program, but the opportunities that open up thereafter are significant and the breadth of opportunities are much greater than they would otherwise have been. So in my case, I went on from the MBA to do the Master of Advanced Management at Yale and that in itself leads to further opportunities. So I think it's the cascade effect that really is the most significant to act as a catalyst in your career. So winning this scholarship really gave me an extra boost of confidence. I wasn't sure coming into the MBA whether I had the same intellectual abilities as maybe some of the other graduates who would have had primary degrees when I didn't. So it really did validate me and make sure that I felt like I was with the best in the class. And also from a purely financial perspective, I had been made redundant, so I thought I was going to have to withdraw my overall MBA application. So purely by winning the scholarship was the only way I could actually complete the program. And I was absolutely delighted because I was ready to do it at that stage. The advice I would give anyone who's applying is really to think big, and particularly if you have big professional ambitions to be on the global stage, that would be music to the ears of the people awarding the scholarship application, because then there's high profile for the scholarship itself, as well as for you as an individual. The first piece of advice is, I'd say, don't count yourself out. It's really important that you do apply, and it's up to the judging panel to then see who's the best match that given year. The second piece of advice is probably just to really focus on that application process. You have a limited window in which um, to get your application through to final interview stage. Um, So it's really important you take the requisite amount of time that's commensurate with what's on offer in terms of funding and opportunity. And the third piece of advice is really that you show up as your authentic self. And there's no point in worrying about who else is in the process or what their previous experience might be. It's really about you knowing where you're coming from what your motivations for doing the MBA are and being able to communicate that to the panel.